Hey there guys, so this is a uh, gear uh, DC motor that I took out from a mini children's rifle. Um, so this device has a series of gears in it to increase the torque right here. At this point there's uh, smaller gears and it just goes on and on with bigger gears and at this point we have a much bigger gear to increase the torque, the um, strength of the rotation. And it reduces the speed and, inc and increases the uh, torque. So uh, in this video, we're gonna make a generator from this. Um, we're gonna use this to charge our phone. And first, first, let me open this up and show you what's really inside of it. Right, so we'll just open this up and here we are. Oh, so you got screws here. Um, I think that's the last one. So, gently, we open this to not let go okay so here it is guys as you can see we've got series of gears inside so when this spins faster it increases the strength at this point and what happens when I turn this as you can see it's much faster at the end and the speed at this point is slower it's not as fast as what's here, but when I turn here with much speed, it turns slower at this point. So this is how the gear combination has been set up. And what we want to do with this is we want to generate electricity. We want to use this electricity, the output from this motor, to charge a phone. So we're just going to couple this back, put this back right away. and. Get the screws in. Alright, so let's hook this up to a multimeter and see how many volts that this is pulling out. Right, hook that up right away, and nice. So we set this at 200. And now we're gonna turn and see. Well, that is all right. Let's do that really quick and see how many the max voltage. 27. 35. Whoa, 35. Whoa. It just got stuck. All right, let's, let's do that again. 34. 33. Hold on. 37. Let's see if we could go up to 40 volts. Nope. It's 37, guys. It's 37. So, um, let's insert some sort of yeah, let's insert a metal that we can use to rotate this and so we could crank it easily. All right. And so guys, I just hooked up my screwdriver to this and let's turn and see how it is. As you can see, it's not a stable voltage. So, <clears throat> At the output of this, we're going to connect a um, converter, a 12 volts or 20 volts to 5 volts converter. And we're going to use this. This is from a car. This is a 12 volts to 5 volt converter I got from a car. And we're going to hook this up and see 
but first we want to check out the polarity and know what we're connecting is this is ground and this is the positive which which broke actually so we we'll just turn that again and see all right so this is our positive right here take that apart and connect it right well let's hook up the negative first it's gonna be much easier so connect the negative and the positive <clears throat> all right so let's see if that's going to turn on when we crank up the uh, device the generator all right guys so look at that and as you can see it turned on let's place it right there yep so let's connect a USB and measure the voltage at this point so here guys I have a USB charger a cord with the ends cut out and we're gonna connect this and hook this up to the multimeter and measure the voltage so let's see hook this up right there and then connect this positive and here the negative so now let's crank this up and see how many volts we're gonna get as you can see 5.2 volts with no fluctuations it's very stable so now we're gonna hook up a charging cord uh, a micro USB at this point um, and connect the phone and see if it's actually gonna charge so let's let's do that right away so we're just gonna hook up this charge phone let's see what happens so we're just gonna stand the phone so you can see clearly what's going on so right now I'm gonna crank this as you can see it's charging it's charging guys uh, let me bring this close I don't know I'm gonna do that but anyways just place it right there And so guys, that's gonna be it for the video. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, stay creative, and stay safe. Goodbye.